hello, welcome back. This is Robin's Realm Readings, and we're doing a series. We're finishing up this series, I think, in less than a week it will be done, and then we'll be changing the way that we do things. I'm still bringing everybody's monthly readings, and I'm also sending in intermittent readings. When the, when the Holy Spirit of the Spirit hits me, and I'm looking at somebody's, let's say I'm going through YouTube, and I see a lot of people saying, Okay, uh, Gemini's, um, you're free now, you're free now, you're free now. Or Gemini, love is coming, coming, coming. And I look at that and I see all these psychic readers saying the same kind of subject. And then I do a reading for you. And it's the same thing. That's synchronicities. That's the Spirit of God finally trying to reach out to you. So whichever reading you connect to, my loves, that's meant for you. Now, I mean... You, you're meant to hear something in the reading. It could even be as um, simple as just someone's voice, right? It can be just someone's voice. So this is the Rumi readings that I'm doing, a Rumi oracle by Alana Fairchild. And they're, they're subject matters of how you're walking through your divine purpose in life and how you're experiencing love from different levels and how to make that happen for yourself. This is, again, I started, okay, this is for February the 11th, 11, 2021, for the collective energy of everyone. I want to thank you for being here. If I sound excited, it's because I have this incredible joy inside right now. So this will be for y'all. I thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. We'll be doing regular um I'll be doing sun sign, sun sign readings, and I'm probably going to do a Taurus reading after this, okay? Whoa, I guess it's that one. Hello, thank you guides. So what is the message about today for, the, for February? The blessing of Zara. Okay, who is Zara? We have number three and number nine together, 39. That might mean something to some of you. Three, of course, you know, is about making your commitments. These are both um, uh, components of creation, you know, three. Nine is abundance. Three is commitment, connections, contracts. Some of you are dealing with your soul, soul star is reaching out. Um, a lot of you are doing, this is a little metaphysical, okay? I'm going metaphysical, but a lot of you are doing astral traveling. You don't even know you're doing it, maybe in your sleep. Let's find out what that is later. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and do a reading for the love energies for the collective. Love, career, health, and finance message. Okay? They're going to come out the way they come out. Don't know if it, it, it you know, it could, it might or might not be your situation, but the message is general. And thank you for being patient and listening to it. I don't know why these cards don't want to shuffle. I'm just getting them shuffled because um, I need to. All right. Let me start by doing a blessing. Thank you so much, Spirit, that you love us so much, that you give us truth, light, guidance. Archangels, divine guides, divine white light, protection, and blessings. Help me to read for the collective today as they love on themselves. Thank you so much. You bring us to higher enlightenments about what love really is and how to live it. Even when we perceive that we are not loved, we are loved. Bless you, bless you, bless you before I read. There we go. That was cool. That was cool. That had really good energy on it. And that is the crown chakra bowl. That's for your mind. Sacred anointing for myself and for your reading. Here we go. The love message for February 11th, 2021. Let's take a look. What do you want to say to the collective, please? What's the, the main message that needs to come out? I'm just going to see what comes out. What's the message for February 11th, please?
Ooh, I got a firm grip on this bad voice. All right. We got two. Uh-oh. I'm going to take that one and put that one back. First of all, look at, we got a lot of blue in our reading. Look at that. Blue. Okay, there's a reason for it. Even my Buddha guy was blue at the time. Look at her nurturing him, and he's just sitting there going, I, I just, your heart. Oh, your heart, my darling. I'm saddened. Something's going on. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So it's very, it's very endearing. Somebody has found someone. And they're, uh, mm. wow, through each other you find the missing pieces. Let's find if that, if that person's actively present in your life. Okay, let's find out. February 11th, 2020. You know, sometimes people are in love with you and they don't tell you. And you're like, well, how can I? <laughs> I didn't know that all this time I hear. Okay, somebody's, somebody's situation. It's um, unrequited love. It's only re unrequited love because they're not speaking up. How are you going to know? I mean, you may be attracted to them and not, you know, not giving it much mind because you felt out of their league or something, or they're out of your league, and you know it. But love is a very unique, interesting thing. Message to you guys for February 11th is there are religious factors, okay? And I think you might be embracing that idea also. There, what this means is that your faith levels may be a little different. You may come from different backgrounds. That requires a special kind of embrace. When you're in love with somebody, you will embrace their differences, will you not? Having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the one that you uh, need to and past life relationship. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Give me another for that, please. Past life relationship. Wow, that's deep. Spirit, what are you saying today? Are you saying that the, we both, they both know they're from a past life relationship and all they really need to do is embrace, to for, forgive each other and embrace and find the missing pieces? Oh, my God, that's a beautiful message. Wow. There was a situation of codependency with a past life relationship. That is past energy. Let's see future. True love. This it really is your true love, somebody that's separated from their, a partner. Tell me more about this partner, please, spirit. They just want to talk like mad. There is chemistry between you two, obviously. Tell me what happened. Desperately want to do... God, you guys. Whoever this is, they want to come back. But what happened with the codependency, please, and religious factors? Calling in a soulmate. So what happened was with somebody here in love? There was faith. Yes, there was differences of beliefs and opinions that created a codependency because you couldn't have heart-to-heart -heart conversations about it. But you knew deep in your soul that this is truly your true love. And you know them in, in intimately in a way that, in a very deep cellular spiritual way, like on, on any other relationship you've ever had, that didn't make it a healthy relationship. That made it one that was a challenge for you. You spent time. And they may be calling you back in because there's still chemistry there and true love there for a reconciliation. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's do your energy on this. General energies. If this relates, it relates. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it relates, be sure to hit the like button for me, darlings. Also, if you'd like a private reading, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm here to help you. I can do a beautiful reading on you and your significant other and see if they're going to come back what their intentions are, what they're thinking, and really make it personal. It's between you and them and what your real, real soul wants, you know. You're going to yearn for what you need, and so the universe is going to know it, okay? And you have guides, though. Sometimes they separate you on purpose because it just gets so toxic, and you're like, God, I need you, but I can't be with you. That's what I said to mine. I cannot be around you at all. That was it. It's the last thing I said that I can remember. 
that's how it goes sometimes. You have to find yourself. You have different faiths. You just have to find a different way to... S you celebrate yourself by pulling away from toxicity or perceived toxicity or repeated patterns or anything that keeps you from living your happiest, fullest. So you are showing up as the Six of Pentacles. You're very kind. Always giving, whoever you are. Always being generous and making sure that everything's fair for everybody. Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about the collective energy, please, Spirit. You're so good to us today. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles. Now you're single and you're solid and you're good and you're dependable. Your connection with abundance is strong. Your connection with nature is strong. Your connection to your soul center is strong. And your elegance. You are highly prized and you are holding your ground and you know how to share. You understand abundance. You guys are the bomb.com. I love it. You're valuable. Tell me about the... Uh, I'm going to use a different deck. This one I shuffled the daylights out of. To draw your significant other in. Who is this past life partner? And I may not even be able to do this whole roomy reading because this is a love reading. Wow, you guys. It's really good, though. So this person is showing up as a knight of wands. Yeah, they were just coming in, going, visiting. Um... You are sitting in a solid energy, whoever you are, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, solid. This is my Virgo card. This person's coming in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is an energy of a player, of a, a not serious person. They're passionate. They come in with passion and they leave. Tell me more about this person. February 11th, 2021. They want a reconciliation now. Why? Tell me more about them. Give us the truth. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Mid-age, mid-age range. Okay? They're, they, they're coming off like they're sincere. They, they're they sincere this time. I think they graduated from the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Cups. Energy. Um, these three just popped out. There has been an awakening for this person. Uh, the Hierophant is here. That is Taurus energy. That doesn't have to be Taurus. There has been an awakening here. This person in their time period away from you has um, built themselves up spiritually. There's joy here. There's movement. There's um, upward spiral movement. This is why they were able to change from the night into the cups. And the sun is here to show that this person's sincere about their change. The shift that they've been through. That's amazing and beautiful. You guys, do you want to find out more? Just contact me for a reading. Let me ask something, though, before I go on to the career part of this. Okay? Let's do this. Give me a sacred destiny to go on with this relationship here. What should I know about this relationship that people are looking at and agreeing with? Um, it's much simpler than you think it is. Really? Simplicity? Keep it simple. There's abundance. Of course, there is nine of pentacles. And tell me more, please. Wow, they're just flying. Illumination for your uh, for that partner there that's uh, needing to come back to you and get their fulfillment. That's what I see in love. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How about that? Okay. We're going to do the, my beautiful, bear with me. Get my head straight here. Now we're going to look at uh, the career aspect of February 11th. Bring it forth, please, Spirit. Thank you that you're so good with us. Mm -hmm. I'm creating a deck, you guys. It's going to be, it's going to be, um, I'm not going to tell you any more about it, but I'm going to tell you that I am in the process of it. Going to see uh, someone tomorrow about finishing it up. It is... Um, Answering, it'll be about answering questions that you always have. The answer to the questions you always have. When I've done many, 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 I think I've done thousands of readings, and I want to do more. All right? I've gotten a lot of the same questions. So I sat down and I wrote the answers, and we'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned. I've got a brand new website. I have... Um, there's a change, some changes going on, okay? 
So stay tuned with me, my love. Stay with me. Subscribe, please. Thank you. Hit the all bell, too, so you can get these. Because I'm going to keep doing these every day. I, but I won't always be bringing roomy stuff, you know? I'll be bringing fairies and angels and other things. And, and archangels, right? Uh, what did I say? The uh, mystical shaman. Shaman. Deep stuff. We want to know what they want to say to us. We want to know how to get through our days, uh, even though we have our own guidance, prayer, and meditation. Tell me about career, please, for February 11th. Tell me the career message for February 11th, please, for everyone in the collective. Career message. These are so hard to shuffle. I do not like thick decks. They're not my bag. Career message is very good. Here you go again. Nine of coins. So many of you are going to find a, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel like your money's all right. Uh, again, you got the ragdoll nine of autumn. So many of you are like stable. Some of you aren't. I, I'm sorry if you aren't. Uh, keep looking, keep asking, keep searching, keep putting yourself out, keep your faith high, work on your talents, get your education, whatever you need to do. Yes, 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 okay? Because it's a very successful, abundant card and, and the single person on their career path. So you might have a new career. Tell me about health. Six of spring, victory. Yeah. This is a victory card, receiving good news, being validated, being encouraged to, um, and, and empowered by somebody. Yes, these are all positive energies. Holy mackerel. I should have been reading all day long. I get found out, though. Finance, money, logic, common sense, checking, crossing your T's, dotting your I's. King of, King of Swords doesn't play. He's very logical and factual. And he checks his bank accounts. He checks everything. He goes through his records. Everything can be att uh, uh, accounted for. Um, it's important that you communicate clearly, especially about money, right, or possessions. Be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. That's cool. Well, honeys, uh, that is the daily portion of the reading. If this is where you want to leave off, that's fine, but please leave me a like. You're loved very much. All right, now we're going to go and we're going to take a look at this roomy blessing. I'm going to leave these here, though. And before I read that, I'm going to pull the rest of the cards for the reading, okay? Keepers of the Light energy, along with all of this other information, you are present. What is your message? What is your energy? What do you want to tell the collective for February 11th, 2021? I don't know why I just heard beat. I've been hearing Beatles songs in my head all day. I love you, I love you, I love you. That's all I want to say until I find a way. That's what Holy Spirit's saying, I'm, or somebody's singing it, and they, somebody's singing it. I just heard somebody singing it, karaoke. How cool. Keepers of the light, the keeper of the light again, Gaia, our mama. Um, be mindful of your planet and come back to earth. Stay grounded. Nine of coins. Who's the keeper of the light in reference to health, please? I'm going to do this. I'm going to add these. Thank you, Spirit. I love these ideas. Ah, Green Tara. Of course it's about your health and well-being. Protected. Move beyond your limitations and trust supreme protection. And Green Tara is about having a healthy body, healthy mind, healthy spirit, healthy self-respect. Right? And it brings you into balance. She's apps. This is beautiful cards. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about the money, financial. Who's guarding over our minds and hearts while we're making decisions and making these transactions in our life? Ah, soul expansion. Ha! Look at the cosmic background. And he's got the Om symbol and he's got the Sri Yantra. It is what it is. It'll always be what it is. And it is. You are the center of the universe. Your soul is expanding. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Financial. You understand. Wow, you guys. Super blessed. Super blessed. Uh, let me have an animal spirit guide for February 11th. Let me see how I'm doing. Oh. Am I still charged or am I? 
needing to charge it. Hold on. Sorry. How we doing? Got a few minutes. Okay. All right. So let me have an animal spirit guide message. And these are very intriguing cards because they, the Archangel Animal by Diana Cooper talks about their metaphysical begin, beginnings, what planet they actually originate from and how they help humans. So let's see how unique these are. What is it? February 11th. It's the raven. Interesting. Prepare for change. So, mm, sorry, my fingers are dry. <laughs> Interesting for a girl who has them in oil and scrubs all the time. Archangels Osriel and B H O K B I. Okay. Look at that beautiful card. The raven comes from Sirius. And it brings a special magic. Crows, rooks, magpies, drongos, and ravens are all known as tricksters of the bird kingdom. They create change by overcoming obstacles, and they instigate transition in animals and humans. Their sole mission is to nudge people and animals towards enlightenment, and if you see a single one of these birds, it is prompting you to watch out for unexpected change. Maybe telling you to raise your consciousness before you draw something unwanted to you. Yeah, it's a warning sign. The service mission of ravens is to clear up carry-on. In doing so, they keep things clean and teach us that everything can be used. When you get this card, watch your thoughts. Make sure that they're positive and wholesome. Examine your intentions and make clear ones for everyone's good, including your own. A pure vision sets your journey to enlightenment and ascension. The raven suggests that you have skills and talents that will enable you to bypass obstacles in a clever and different way. It also warns you to be prepared for sudden change or transition into something unexpected and new. You have all the support and help you need for this transition at hand. As your soul expands, you have to also be very, very sharp. Because light isn't the only thing on this planet. It is something you need to maintain. You need to keep your eyes peeled for anything that would distract you. Am I, am I right? Okay. That would distract you. All right. So let me have uh, three energies for everyone. And then we will be, I think, done. What is the messages here? What are the divine messages to go with all this energy, please? Regeneration. So many of you are experiencing this. It looks like lava, doesn't it? And then it looks like light raining down, stars raining down on you. 46. Regeneration, soul expansion. One more, please, and then I'll take a look at that Rumi card. And deep knowing. Supreme protection and deep knowing. Yes, you will have this deep knowing. There's the owl. And I do believe that many of you understand this reading perfectly well. I probably don't even need to go into all the details about it. Rumi says, uh, let's see what that is. So the, the blessing of Zerah is actually um, something appears to be leaving your life. And even if it's painful to release, it's because it's no longer healthy for you or no longer supporting of your life. For you and something more loving and beautiful is awaiting so do not try to feast upon scraps stop scraping in the dirt for stale breadcrumbs rise up and move towards the seat at the heavenly table gleaming before you for a greater feast awaits your attendance oh my gosh guess what I think you're ready to either in love and money. I think that's an expansion message. Just absolutely look at expansion, expansion, simplicity, abundance, and fulfillment. So this is the story. Thank you for being here. Love you. Namaste. If you'd like a private reading, you may hit me up. 
Uh, my email will be below. My Patreon will be below. Everything's below. Just please hit the down arrow button and you'll be able to see it. I want to thank you for being here and I love you so much. Namaste, everybody. Bye.